Diesel Weasel. What you got on your nose? Oh no, oh no. What a hairy nose you have. Morning. Morning, Chevy. Morning, everybody. It's a new day. It's a Sunday. And the sun is not shining. So that's weird. Brit has found a new addiction. Not found, was introduced by my husband. And now I can't stop and it's the only thing getting me through this pandemic. It's official. I'm a TikToker. <laughs> <laughs> I showed her a few TikTok videos and now she can't stop watching. It brings me so much joy. So much joy. We haven't made any TikToks ourselves yet, but who knows? You know? Maybe one day. Crazier things have happened. If we're feeling clever. <laughs> There's a lot of funny people in this world. It's a nice enough day outside again. We're gonna take advantage of it and have a bonfire. There's somewhere I wanna park. Here is good. All right. Oh yeah. Now to collect sticks from out there. We didn't bring firewood, because why would we? There's plenty out there. We just need to go find it, bring it here, and start the magic of fire. Look at this hard working woman out here in the bush. I found her in the city. Now look at her. Oh no. Doesn't even know her own strength. Got something going in there. Should take off pretty quick from here. Then as soon as it gets down to the bottom, the cardboard lights up with it. And then that really gets it going. That's when you throw the bigger stuff on. Oh fire in no time. How is it? Toasty. Not bad, eh? It needs to be bigger though. Yeah, we're gonna definitely make it bigger yet. It's minus 10 Celsius out here today, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. It's not too bad though, this is really warm for January here. Yeah, it's usually uh, triple this cold, it's usually minus 30 right about now. Yeah. So we're enjoying the nice weather, getting some deadfall out of our bush, cleaning up the place a bit. Getting some exercise. Uh-huh. Much needed. My, my wife is uh, showing me how it's done apparently. I am my mother's daughter. I honestly, I found her in the city, I swear. She's more country than me. Uh -huh. My mother and I are forest pixies. Yeah, you guys like the bonfires a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, I better add some on that yet. Make it my bigger. mom's actually the one who taught me how to uh, use a chainsaw and use an axe. Oh, really? My mother. <laughs> she is a fire goddess. She sure is. I love staring at fire.
Get it all, Diesel. Got some very well behaved boys here, especially this golden boy. I don't know what you're hoping for, bud. No idea what you're looking for. You just got a whole bunch. I smell like bonfire. Really strong. I love that smell. But I gotta wash that off before I go to bed. And we got some more fun Sunday activities to take part in yet, don't worry. Uh, laundry. Uh, gotta change the bedding. Uh, probably some dishes. I'll make your lunch. That's pretty exciting. My wife will make my lunch for me for tomorrow. She makes my lunches for me, eh? I'm spoiled. Does your wife make your lunch for you? Oh, I might be starting some fights with that one, though. You all done there, Frank? Good boy. Good boys. All done. All done. I, I'll let our uh, built-in dishwasher take care of that. Hey, Wiener. Clean the bowl, would you? Thank you. Make sure it's all clean. And Diesel, you haven't gotten yours yet. Everybody get some of this. It's almost to the bottom of the bag already. Sit. You know you only get them if you sit. Good boy. And you already got your Chev. You got lots. So did you and you. Good boys. All right, let's have a fun evening yet. We gotta go to bed tomorrow. We gotta work again. So how was it? Tell the people. Tell the people. It was very delicious. Very. I can't even look at you. That's how delicious it was. Chevy, hey, look at the people. Hey, Chevy. Come on, give him a smile. Can you smile? No, no, longer. Can you smile? Good boy. <laughs> That's his smile. You smile? Chevy, look at them. Smile. Jeez. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, it's a hard life being a Chevy. I know, I know. Diesel, can you smile? No. Because I'm a grumpy old man and we're tired. I'm retired, man. I can wag my tail, though. Can you wag your tail? Okay, that'll count. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> What's going on up here? What shore are you into now? Watching season five of Outlander. Outlander? Really? Isn't that about Scotland? Well, no, they're in America now. Oh, sorry, they're in America now? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I thought it was about Scotland. It starts in Scotland. Starts in Scotland. Start, starts. I just found a bounce sheet in the blanket I was wearing. Here, would you like a bounce sheet? I would love a bounce sheet. Thank <laughs> you. You see all the fun we have on Sundays? Finding bounce sheets all over the place. Oh, it smells like bonfire in here. Okay, yeah, we gotta, we gotta wash some of this. This is some Sunday excitement. One second, guys. Let me put you down. This is too too much excitement. I need two hands for this. So these are some of my work pants that I wear to work every day. They're Wranglers and they're lined. You can get them on Amazon. Just search like Wrangler lined jeans. You'll find them. Look at this fleece on the inside. So warm in the winter. They're godsend. Okay. So we had them at the bonfire today. So we have to make sure there's nothing in the pockets. I get that bonfire smell out of there. I also had my uh, my camel jacket. Oh, it smells like bonfire. Just a good smell, but I don't want my whole house smelling like that. I'd also like to wash this jacket again, get it ready for the week. Got a little bit dirty last week. I mean, it's not too dirty, right? But I'd like to start off with a clean jacket. Put that in there. Alright, that's about all we can fit in there, I'm thinking. I guess we'll throw the shirt in there too, if I turn it inside out. It's my Johnny Cash shirt. 
What? Just gotta turn it inside out so that those jackets don't destroy it. Bad boys in there. There we go. Let that do its thing. I do all of my own laundry. I like to be in control of something. Okay, so. Sunday fun day, right? What did you expect? It's a day off. Tomorrow we go back to work, though. We gotta do some trucking tomorrow. People need their stuff. I gotta bring it to them. So seeing as I have to work tomorrow, what I, what I like to do on the evening before I have to work the next day, or every weeknight, usually, I get everything ready that I'm going to need for tomorrow morning. So I get all my clothes ready. I shower first thing in the morning to make sure I'm clean for the day. I make sure all my clothes are ready before I even go to bed, make sure everything is set up so that in the morning I can wake up, grab all my stuff, shower, eat breakfast, and head out the door and not forget anything because I'm I'm known for forgetting things. I like to blame it on just being a geesebrecht, that we're very forgetful people, but there's really no excuse. I want to wake up in the morning, I want to get to work early, and I want to be able to be ready to do my best and to do everything I can to make sure that the day goes smoothly. And in order to do that, you have to get everything ready the night before. So how early do you get up? For those of you who go to work on a daily basis, let's say I start work at, uh, let's say I have to leave the house here at 7 a.m., okay? So I'll get up an hour before I have to leave the house. So that gives me an hour to shower, eat breakfast, and if everything's ready for me, pick it up, put it in my pickup, and head off to work. Is that enough time for you in the morning, or like, how early would you get up if you have to leave the house by 7 o'clock? By 7. 7.01, you're leaving late. You have to leave the house by 7. What time would you get up? How long does it take you to go through your morning routine? Another good question is, if you have to be up at 6 a.m., what time would you go to bed? I'm just curious. Curious to see what your schedules are like. Do you need your full eight hours? Do you need about six hours? Do you need ten hours? You know, everyone seems to be a little different, but usually when I get up at 6 a.m., I'll go to bed at 9 p.m. or so the night before, and we usually watch some TV in bed or so until about 10 o'clock, maybe 10.30. Right, Diesel? And then I end up just falling asleep. And if I had a long day at work that day, usually I'll just fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. It's a whole new lifestyle I'm getting used to now. I'm really excited. And I'm excited just being at our property, at our land, or our spot, as we call it today. Uh, it really gets me excited to uh, get going on in summer. And clear that whole area out, make a nice big area for the dogs to run around in, and start developing it. And also start developing my parents' land, which is just around the corner as well. It's it's going to be an exciting couple of years coming up ahead. Ooh, right there you see it already. It's about, oh, it's quarter after nine right now. It's about time to go to bed. So, uh, anyways, short video today, just a Sunday. Tomorrow we get back to driving trucks. I hope you'll be here. Don't forget to tune in and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. I'll see you tomorrow. I gotta get to bed.